What does it mean to make a spiritual communion? During these days in which we're participating in the holy sacrifice of the Mass by remote viewing, all of us are encouraged to make a spiritual communion. What does this mean? We're used to being physically present in Mass. I've, going back to my younger years, before I was ordained, made the practice of going to daily Mass, receiving our Lord in the Holy Eucharist, a daily practice. And I know for so many of you, that pattern continues. And suddenly that pattern is disrupted. And so we may be watching Mass remotely. We may be watching Mass on television or a live stream, some other means, listening to it. And so what do we do when the time comes where we would otherwise receive Holy Communion? We would truly receive the Eucharist physically present at Mass. Here's what we do. We ask God to give us the graces that we would have received through the reception of Holy Communion. Of course, we look forward to the day when we will return to the regular reception of Holy Communion at our Masses. In the meantime, here's what we do. We make a spiritual communion. I'll propose for you one simple prayer of spiritual communion that you can pray during this time when normally you would be receiving the Holy Eucharist. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the Most Holy Sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you in my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. My brothers and sisters, the Lord does not want to be separated from us. We know that as we entrust our hearts to him, during this time in which we are making a spiritual communion, he'll honor those prayers. Jesus, I trust in you. Our Lady of Lords, pray for us.